Hey everyone, today I wanted to make a really quick video showing you how to manage return rules in Shopify and what they are. So this basically allows you to specify, um, for example, the number of days after the order that you would like to allow customers to return the product and also um, stuff like do they get free shipping when they return the product, uh, who pays for that, all sorts of stuff like that. So in order to do that, go ahead and log into your Shopify admin dashboard and head down to the bottom left hand side where it says settings. From here, go ahead and scroll all the way down and where it says policies on the left hand side, go ahead and click on that and you'll see ref return and refund policy. So you can set a return and refund policy here where it will um, basically tell the customer when they order. It's like a disclaimer and it gives them all the information. Um, you can even insert a template and it will do that for you. Um, now the to actually edit the rules, go ahead and click on manage next to return rules on the right hand side. And from here, you can see there's a few options. So you can give them the return window, um, the return shipping cost, um, a re restocking fee. So if you do this, it'll allow you to specify the percentage um, of the uh, of the cost to apply as a restocking fee, and also um, whether or not you want to allow returns on specific items and whatnot. Um, so. I'm going to go ahead and set the return window to 90 days and I'm going to press save and then make sure to turn on return rules. So go ahead and press turn on return rules um, and then go ahead and go back and now you can see your return rules are on and you have some enforcement. Um, so you can turn on self serve returns it appears um, to allow your customers to return to create return requests uh, or you can manually add returns and so and now it should have generated um, or doesn't seem like it generated the return rules but if you add the um, template then you can go ahead and change some of the information here and allow uh, and just make sure the disclaimer is correct for your customers you can even use AI to do that as well so I hope this video helped if it did please leave a like subscribe and I'll catch you next time